time, but he's just had a growth spurt. <laughs> James is so awesome with his puppy at his lap. He's like Dr. Evil. Yeah, his, just black, his, black, his black background, you know, and the muscle shirt. He's like a <laughs> like 19-year-old evil villain. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Dave, are you familiar at all with condenser mics? Not enough to really know anything valuable about them. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not really... I'm an SM5758 kind of guy. I do everything with those two mics or I don't do it. <laughs> nice. No, that's fair. What, what are you why looking are we for? Well, I'm just curious. I was just, I was gifted a couple microphones and I don't know if they're good or not. Just play with them. Shitty microphones can often what be. What are they? Well, you this know. one is, uh, I do agree with you, Eugene. Um, this one is a MXD 770. It's like a little... Got a nice looking little condenser. It came in a nice box and stuff. I got that. And then I'm kind of familiar with this other one. It's just uh, an art. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's an art M1 uh, condenser mic. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I've. To you? How did they, who gave them to you? Uh, Marlene. Oh. Yeah, she gave me those with the Zoom. I think they have a completely different sort of dynamic response. So they're like a completely different monster. Oh yeah, but you do no, a lot of sure. production work anyway, so you'll probably figure out some really neat things with them. Yeah, I'm curious it. to try them out. I've, I I always use uh I I do have a condenser. I have a pencil condenser. And that's what I use for like micing acoustics and stuff like that, and doing some weird vocal stuff. Did you guys with see it, my diva move? I did. Yeah. Beautiful. What'd you what do? was it? Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my hair is kind of wet and weird right now, so I just... Uh, You're wet and weird, hey? Nice. Yeah, trying to unweirdify it a bit. <laughs> Jack, I have to say I absolutely love your hat. Oh, thanks. You're I very welcome. It. I'm jealous. I got it in Thailand last year. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I've oh, this year. Wear, this year. Wear it well. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Okay. Are we live? We're live. So for anyone who's already watching, we're just giving it another minute or two to actually start the show, but in about two minutes, we'll actually start. So uh, if you guys want to share it around, if you feel so inclined, that would be cool. And um, yeah, we're live. Oh, cool. Okay. So we got the link uh, up on the page and we can post oh, it on our pages, right? Let me just put it on the elephant page there. I didn't do that. Um, oh, rookie move, Dave. I know. I know. <laughs> Whoa. I've only done this for 12 weeks. That's there, isn't it? On the elephant page? Well, the, the link is there, but okay. not the actual uh, the actual live. Just grabbing a drink. Feel free to start. Um, um, so anyone who's who's watching us live, we know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, especially me. <laughs> we figured it out 11 times. Yeah. We'll figure it out today. Every time's a new... A new journey, a new experiment. <laughs> I gotta say, Facebook is being a little bit funny right now. I'm not sure what the dealio is. There we go. Well, I've got my video playing on my other computer, but it's not on the desktop I yet. See these guys. This is crazy. Somebody's got their live feed uh, not muted. Oh, I'll do that. I'm not. I'm. No, I don't have Facebook open even. It's not me. But I'll mute myself anyway. Okay. I mean, it might have been me again. I don't know. Yeah, I've got it, my, I've got it muted here. Okay, great. How do you hear things, Ushi, if you've got it muted? You're not wearing headphones. Absolutely normal. Oh, Just... yeah, you've got Facebook muted. Yeah, okay. I've got Facebook muted, yeah. Okay. So, I think we are probably safe to start the show. We've got a couple of people watching already. Um, well, except for it's not showing that we are live. What's going on? Really? Yes, it is. Is it really? Yes, on Facebook. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have it on mine now on my phone and it shows that there's 14 people watching in live. Yeah, same here. Hello, okay. 14 people. Hi. <laughs> How many of us are there? 
One, Jack, that is oh. the most 13. precise okay. bulletin board I have ever seen. <laughs> Those it's, stickies are like, it's just, it's awesome. It's all about children's shoes. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> This is Speaking this is my children's shoes. I'm pretty sure that was a that control, well, no? making huh? feet for children's shoes. It was the second show, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Second one, yeah. Okay, you guys, let's uh, well, let's get the show started. I think because it's uh, yeah, it's five after. You guys cool with that? Absolutely. No, yeah, we must good. wait an hour and a half. <laughs> we really gotta bring them in. So go on, Dave. Give the spiel. What are we doing here? We are doing a live video stream um, where we play pre-recorded videos. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing sort of an on online jam simulation, and we do videos because um, the quality for the um, for the music tends to be just a little better. Live would be a little bit more fun, I think, but um, for the audience, I think the videos work a little bit better. And we have a funny password every week. This week, the password is uh, saw you later oscillator. And no one will know the reference to this at all because this is a private reference that I'll explain. Um, it sounds point. so familiar though, Dave. I, feel well, I like say it, have, I say it yeah, all I the time say, to you guys. brought it up. Yeah. Like, you know how I always say like worst case Ontario or like right arm? Yeah, yeah. So I get these funny things off of... Uh, a dear uncle of mine, Uncle Eric, who has okay. a really beautiful sense of humor, and uh, I love him. I really, I really love my uncle Eric, and uh, I steal all his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so he always says "saw you later," and uh, I, I always say "saw you later, oscillator," because sometimes I might say "see you later, crocodilo," <laughs> instead of "see you later, alligator." So I like anyway. That. It's off. I'm off on a bit of a tangent. Sorry there, audience. I'm as I'm watching the numbers decline. <laughs> ah. Come back. I thought it was me, but it's really you. <laughs> it's me. It's always me. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, um, so yeah, this is the the video stream, and so we'll we'll get her going. I think everybody who's seen the show a few times probably knows what's going on. For you new people, you're gonna see some uh, videos that we've made over the last 24 hours. And um, yeah, this is our outlet at the moment for uh, for performance and connection and everything like that. Um, yeah, great. So without for, well, actually, does anyone have anything they'd like to say before we start? Okay, so without further ado, let's <laughs> go. We're gonna have a very short show this week, everybody, because uh, we've only got a few videos. And mine's like 30 seconds long. <clears throat> okay, so we have. James and Rachel. Oh, cool. first. Yeah. What a wonderful way to start the show. Yeah. All right. Rachel, you mm. can do the honors of talking while I get this all set up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just pin Rachel. Oh, and you have to enable the uh, screen sharing, Dave. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry there. Uh, no, no, that's all good. All and I know Dave screen. wants to keep this show short, right? But uh, maybe Rachel and, and James can introduce themselves to the live crowd. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> so me and James are both Dave's um, brother and sister, and we decided to team up this week. Um, and I've always wanted to do this song with James. I've never actually done it, but James has before. He's performed it live and stuff, and he sings really well. So I thought it'd be fun if I could play the piano with him. So um, we decided to do uh, Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Um, wow. So I went over yesterday um, and went to his house and just kind of was jamming with him all day. Normally we do it every Sunday morning we'll get together, but it's always super rushed. So I thought like if we do it yesterday, then it would have been. She says that she thought, but she actually suggested Sunday morning. And I told her that usually I'm way more prepared than this and I need at least all of Saturday. <laughs> so I begged her to come over early in the morning on Saturday. So we were able to get it done. Okay, right. great. You guys see a black screen? Yes, we do. Holy All right, here we go. All right, guys, round number 12. I hope everyone's had a super awesome week. Uh, this week, Rachel and I decided to team up and do a, a cool tune for you guys. Um, a little backstory on this song. 
a long time ago. It was probably my second time ever singing in front of strangers ever at a place called Cafe Koi. I remember getting through the first verse of this song and then forgetting all the rest of the lyrics. And I proceeded to stand there for five minutes and stare awkwardly at the uh, at the crowd, and they stared very awkwardly back, and it was just a very mortifying experience. Um, anyway, that song was Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Um, yeah, so we're going to do Hallelujah for you guys, and hopefully we don't have the same thing happen. Um, this week's password is Saw You Later Oscillator. Anyway, this is Hallelujah. We really hope you guys enjoy. I heard there was a sacred chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. Well, she tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew
Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We really hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woo! Yeah. Got tears in my eyes, bro. Give me goose pimples twice on my arms. <laughs> Not just once, twice. Oh, I'm still Even my ADHD, you saw me, my ADHD, I looked away and then I came back and then you did it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was really Rachel lovely. James, that was so incredibly beautiful. Thank you. Wow, I really started tearing up. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. Thanks. Oh, that was good. Was fun to play for sure. I, I like the production too. You had that little bit of that wonky synthesizer wash thing, but it was like really underplayed. It was that give it a little more texture, right? Yeah, well, that's you so did, you kind of like you got this weird country twist you do sometimes it's i really like it like yeah, i can't I, oh i don't know what it is but it's it's really neat it's not the whole thing you know it's just every once in a while i liked how you made it yours it, it's really yeah. that that yeah, song exactly. is so so played by so many people and um yeah you really made it yours james and oh, and rachel you. your playing was just stunning oh thank you absolutely yeah, and so you guys dramatic. you connect so great together it's I don't know how I do it, but it's great. I love it. You. You've got <laughs> your twin shit going on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, you, you guys are twins, like, right? They were even yeah. wearing the same shirt. <laughs> yeah, we moved. I was on Rachel. Rachel. She's like, you have to match me so much. A star bellied sneak shirt, and then you can wear them and not wear them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have always been great at not being twinsies, though. Like, you're always pretty, you've been. Uh, fairly independent your whole lives like obviously good friends but you've never really like hung off each other in a twinsy no. kind of way you know what i mean kind of no, yin and yang really kind of thing james is in the dark rachel's in the bright light yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so i feel like i got to make a little bit of a public service announcement about that song um it's one of my favorites in the world and ushi's probably going to kill me for saying this but um that song is really one of my favorites but it's it's wildly misunderstood uh, according to Leonard Cohen. Right. Um, there's a few interviews of him talking about that song. And like, you know how a lot of people would say that song is about God basically. Right. So what the song is really about, and this is Leonard, these are Leonard Cohen's words. It's about the things that make you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like for instance, in the lyrics, when he said, uh, um, her beauty took me by surprise or there's some lyrics in there that are about like S and M there's lyrics in the whole song about drugs. And it's not about those things. It's about what makes every individual uh, say that word. And so some people right. say that about God. Some people say it about like, if I get a really cool guitar, I probably go hallelujah, you know, mm. so an that's, exclamation of joy. that's right. Or, that's right. That's or, exactly it, Eugene. It's an exclamation of joy. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it's, that can it, be anything. It supposedly took him years to write, too, mm -hmm. um, in his words. That's what he said. Uh, I first heard the song from John Cale, which is actually such a beautiful version. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's kind of my definitive version. And right. I know Jeff Buckley uh, got a lot of raves about his version. And to be honest, I still haven't heard it to this day. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, and, and Cohen's version, I... I I, I know I've heard it, but I can't even imagine it right now. <laughs> I think Cohen's one is more of like a spoken word almost. Like, yeah. Kind of Very dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does it's a different way. Well, did a different wow. version every like, few years. Yeah. Cohen's version. You know what I mean? Man, that's what we all got to do is just write one song like that. And we're all set for life. <laughs> right. Just keep adding <laughs> verses to it for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah, and it's so great that... Verses there were. You know, like what you were talking about, the, the themes of the songs, whether it's sex or drugs. And, 
and that the song was used so well in Shrek, and you have all these kids running around singing it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Literally. Yeah. Of course, they left a lot of verses out. But, yeah. Uh, Shrek it, is it was It was popular. Rufus Wainwright, right? Yeah. Wainwright, right? Uh, did he do it in the Shrek soundtrack? I think. Well, yeah, yeah. It's pretty okay. good as well. Cool. Yeah, he's he's a genius, too. Yeah. For sure. But the you guys ever version. Want to hear a really great version of that song? Type in Hallelujah, Kurt Nielsen. It's him and about four other guys, and they're part of this uh, Norwegian, or I think they're Norwegian anyway, that they have this little kind of five-guy little band, and they each take a turn doing a verse, and they all have wildly different voices, and it's just a really, really entertaining, uh, like, 10 minutes or whatever. It's Me and Rachel have been obsessed with Kurt Nielsen since we were probably, I don't know, 11. That's like, such a nice voice unbelievable and like no one's ever heard of these guys and they are just like on another level of good yeah. fantastic cool. you guys oh that was a that was a good good show opener there sorry about my rant <laughs> no no that's all good <laughs> okay let's see let's see who's next here okay well eugene are you ready brother you know what uh i think i might be let's okay. <laughs> Uh, two stages and I'm going to send it to your Facebook right now. Uh, it's a, a YouTube link. Okay. Okay, cool. And uh, there's that. And I'm going to send an email to you uh, right away. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just do something else. Okay. That sounds good. But, so uh, I, should I be I looking in my email or YouTube? I just, I just sent it's on my YouTube now, so you can look it up, but I just sent the link to your Facebook Messenger, and I'm just gonna Gmail it to you, and you can probably look it up on my YouTube, and it'll be right there. Okay, I'll follow the link that you sent me on Facebook. Just give me one second here. Bear with us, everybody, but like I said, we've got a <laughs> short show tonight, so we can we can kill a little bit of time, as long as the I just are... did this while, while you guys were starting the Zoom show. I just went the help, I just went for it. Uh, the, the middle of this i love this song and uh the middle of it i got lost it's too many chords it's a pretty fancy song but i just struggled through it i love the lyrics they're really good it's a yeah. uh sammy davis version uh sammy davis jr version of i gotta be me which was from a, a musical uh the the year before that was steve lawrence like 1967 68 and it's a really cute song but it's actually really great so, Sorry to interrupt you there, Eugene, but somebody's yeah. got their uh, somebody's got something playing in the background, whether it's the live stream or something, but it's uh, echoing over here. Um, uh, okay, I, that might have been me. Okay, okay, so I've got your I've got your video uh, queued up here. Well, go for it. Okay. I, I get lost in the middle, but that's okay. Okay, that's okay. We're all lost most of the time, anyway. Uh, <laughs> My goal is to get something original done this summer. I've got it. It's actually written down. To finish Ooh. one of my half finished things. I'll shut up. <laughs> okay. Do you guys see you guys see Eugene's video? Okay. Thanks for the thumbs up. And, and that's a beautiful thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pants are doing it, man. Okay, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> oh shoot, okay, the password. The okay, password. before we continue, somebody's got their uh, Facebook going. Or is that in your video, Eugene? Okay, I'll try it and see if it keep, continues on. Sorry for the interruption. I'll back it up. Is, oh, yeah. oh, shoot, okay, the password. Yeah, the password is, oh, it's, four, it's four words. Something about an axe. I think I can find the password. Yeah, you're welcome. The password. Saw you later, oscillator. Yeah, how's mine? Am I super loud or quieter? Okay. Please. 
us in this world Oh, never belong I've got to be me I've got to be me Whatever this cannot be What I am I want to live I'll purely surrise You are hilarious. I just got a text from my mom, and it's like, James, I think your mic is on. <laughs> you put ADHD to the next level, Eugene. I love it. Yeah. That was <laughs> sitting there. I'm, like, I'm getting deja vu from this somehow. <laughs> like, I was fighting with the light switch. I didn't even know it was there. Like, I the was best, also Eugene. thinking puppet it's like, a, like a puppet. <laughs> I kept wanting to brush it out of your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like Hitchcock always wanted to make movies where the audience would be like, like, no, don't do this. Don't. <laughs> and Eugene, I just wanted to brush that cord from your face. I know. I, I didn't even see it while I was doing it. I didn't even hear James talking while I was doing it, right? <laughs> I was actually completely focused on trying to do the damn song because it's really difficult, right? And that, all that shit going on, I didn't even know what was going on. And it, it is a great song. I, I remember that it's song lovely. when I was a kid. From, yeah, from I, I do too. And, and, uh, but I hadn't really revisited the, the actual lyrical content. It's a brilliant song. It, it like really it, is. It really is. Who, who wrote it, Eugene? Enough. Pardon? Who, who was the writer? Uh, it's, uh, it, it's from a musical. So huh. it's like Tin Pan Alley stuff, but really late Tin Pan Alley stuff. Like late 60s. It's mm -hmm. a Broadway musical. So I, I looked it up. I can't remember the name, but it's like, you know, like a... Uh, one of those two person teams that would you know one guy would write the libretto so to speak and one guy would write the music for a whole uh, for a whole musical right and steve lawrence had a hit with it uh surprisingly the, the broadway musical wasn't that popular but the song was and then and he was the guy that actually acted on broadway with it he was kind of a famous 60s guy but then um 60s 
Sammy did it the next year while the show was still on Broadway, and it was a complete surprise hit for Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, like, it was a smash. It got a lot of yeah. uh, radio play, and I know we had the yeah. record around the house. Yeah, like, uh, like yeah. I remember it from, like, it's sort of archetypical because I was just a child, right? I think it was 1968. But just, just like while I was doing it, like revisiting the lyrics as an adult, it's a, it's a really great song. It fits you like a glove too, Eugene. Yeah, it does, because it's a little bit silly, but it's also quite strong, right? I got to say, though, that video, I think, made me realize I need to seek counseling about OCD. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, the little thing on your head and, and my own voice, like, echoing in the background, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, it mean, my cat, my counseling for the, for, for, uh, like, I think I have a little bit of the OCD, but mostly I have the attention deficit shit, right? So, <laughs> well, thank like, you for spreading like, it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> until I get focused, right? Like, I was actually focused in a, inside of that chaos, but it's so rare to get there, right? It's, and, it's just, and sorry, but you, you keep talking about the lyrical content, but I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because, because I wasn't listening to the lyrics, bro. Your visual stimulus of it was too much. So my uncle Al just made a comment about how that was how he'd seen my dad's band uh, back in a club called the Trade Winds. This would have been back in probably the early '80s, but times 200. Because actually, it reminded me watching the video of a live performance with talking in the background. It was like being in a cafe, yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and that was all accidental. But anyways, so, enough of me. Let's get on to the next stuff. No, Thank no, you. no. Okay. no <laughs> we, can, we can make a whole show about this song. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably. Yeah, Eugene, we can't just dust that off that quick. Come on. Play now. it again. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I wasn't going to do it, eh, Dave? I'm glad you did it, man. That was really good. It was That was actually quite a good performance, too. Maybe the Rush thing is your, your forte, you know? I, Eugene I, works yeah. best under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, let's get on to the next person. I'm excited. Kaboros. <laughs> so I'll uh, pin Kathy for this one and she can do the talking because I know she loves to do the talking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we have some special for you guys uh, today because we had a gig yesterday and uh, we had the idea of... Uh, taking a song out of our gig um, for this tonight's video. Thank you very much to my sister, Nadja, she made the video. And yeah, it was, was a cool performance. We were all quite nervous, so the song is maybe a little bit too fast, but <laughs> yeah, that's uh, because of the, the uh, being nervous. <laughs> cool. But well, you, was... you and Stefan were nervous. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you have the video now? <laughs> I do. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, can I do. Stop yeah. talking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Here, I'll unpin you for a second. So, um, and I'll just go back here. So, we played last night at a place called um, the International House um, or House International in uh, Lancehood there. And it was like yeah. an outdoor event where they were they play movies at night, and it's in this little nice little courtyard. And uh, just for um, responsibility's sake, I'll just I'll just mention that they were really practicing the social distancing measures, and that House International was uh, really um, uh, being diligent about all the social distancing and everything, like including like their staff wearing masks and everything. I know I don't like to talk about that stuff on the show very much, but um, I just want to make it clear that that uh, that cafe was doing their their due diligence. So. And it was fun. We had a lot of fun, actually. So, mm -hmm. without further ado, I'll pop it on. Um, let me just find it. Oh, yeah. There we go. And the song is about um, keep on going, don't stop. That's kind of thing. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. You guys see an outdoor video? Thumbs up? Great. Okay, here we go. Das Jahr des Spaziergangs. <lacht> ähm, zumindest hat das Spazierengehen ein großes Comeback dieses Jahr erlebt. Und ich finde, das, das sich fortbewegen ist eines der größten Freiheiten. Und auf diese Freiheit ähm, gibt es jetzt ein kleines Lied von uns.
so cool so how was it a, a was it a pretty big outdoor event or how many how many people were there i don't know kathy what would you say kind of, i don't know maybe 50 yeah something nice. like that yeah something like that Wicked. that's so awesome how long did you guys play for um about um, 45 minutes well, nice think. yeah that's a super cool sound you guys got yeah yeah that's like totally new uh katarina that's like another <laughs> yeah. another facet of you Kind of like the Latin, the Latin super fan. <laughs> yeah, I love the great. piano tone. That was beautiful. But you were kind of, you guys had some kind of kooky harmony going on there. That was awesome. Yeah, try to that kind of Latin funk groove. It, it's so great to see live events happening again. I mean, I haven't played out since January, and mm -hmm. um, it's so great that that you guys are getting out there and doing it, and that places are doing it. And I know. You don't like talking about it, Dave, but um, I think it's really important maybe for the, the rest of the world to see how it can be done without jeopardizing uh, how much that we've accomplished over here in Germany uh, in the fight against this virus and not uh, taking it. You know, I don't want to turn it into a political thing, but... Um, well, no, appropriate behavior, right? Like not directly... Exactly. And not, and not ignoring it. You know right, what I mean? like and it's so yourself. great you guys got to go out and do it, and yeah. yeah, we're really thankful for this opportunity what House International gave us. Yeah, it was was quite on short term uh, notice, but uh, yeah, we you made it. <laughs> I really like what you were doing with your voice, Kat Katarina. That it, it it's totally a new a new voice for for me because I've heard your that uh, kind of a uh, more. Or uh, uh, oh, let's call it sad jazz kind of stuff, like dramatic uh, yeah. uh, blues jazz thing. And then your I don't know what I'll call. I'll just call it for want of a better word the, the German accordion folk tunes. Uh, it's not that I'm just you know that stuff which I love. Yeah. And this is totally different. Like it's kind of this uh, sort of smooth Brazilian, you know, Latin folk jazz stuff. It was cool. That's cool. the beauty of Kathy's music. It's hard to pin down. Yeah, 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 which so yeah, I'm, I'm just reaching for words, but it's yeah. the it's the right the new the the new angle that I was like, oh fuck yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and, a lot of fun to listen to. Frick, frick, yeah. Thanks that you liked it. 
Yeah, and thanks, really David, nice. once again that you play Dave, with me. Dave, Dave what you, were you playing? Uh, uh, is that just a six-string guitar? Or I was going to ask the same thing. It's uh, called a, It's called a bass six. And if you find, uh, if you look yeah, at, I know it. If you look at old Beatles videos, uh, either mm. George Harrison or John Lennon would play one when they were doing bass duties. Whenever Paul McCartney would play the piano, um, John Lennon or George Harrison would play the bass six because, and a lot of other musicians too, uh, because basically for guitar players, it's it's tuned the same, just an octave lower. That makes sense. And I was wondering because I thought it, I, I thought maybe it was pedals you were just working through and you were getting that kind of subsonic bass tone out of it. But that's cool. That's really awesome. Like, like uh, Glenn Campbell did it. Uh, yeah, a lot. yeah. Glenn I Campbell like was really. Kati, I don't want to take away from your song and performance, but uh, I'm interested in that guitar. Yeah, and yeah. It's, so it's totally cool because I, I'm really happy that David plays it. So we have this combination and he can also make like nice solos on it. Yeah. And it's not just the bass. So for me, it's perfect. And Dave, yeah. if you play an open chord on it, does it hold it together or? Um, yeah, like up high, I tend to do the chording up high. If I play like an open, like if I play like an F, like a F major bar chord, yeah. it can be pretty muddy. So I tend to keep the chords above the eighth fret sort of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, the good thing about it is, uh, the bass, it really does make a bass sound and it really does make like a guitar sound in yeah. the lower string range. So I can, I can kind of climb up a little bit with it and it's the, a, lot, a lot of the fun low to play. The low register single string sound is like, it's just, it just sticks out and fits it. Like you're saying, Katharina, it, it just fits in really nice with the voice, right? Because it's yeah. So... When you play up high, Dave, it almost sounds like you're using like a. I thought you were using like an octavator or something like that. Right. It was super, super unique. The whole, the whole thing as like a whole just sounded really unique, and I was really curious how you guys were getting that low frequency like that. But that's just super awesome. The whole thing just sounded so good. Question: you guys want a little Ushi, are you awake? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want more information on or like access to like other artists who use them, just look up Tic Tac Bass. That's kind of like what a lot of people called it in the 60s and 70s. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was like that. Yeah, there's, there's some Tic -tac great Tic -tac records Tic -tac. out there from people who only played that, that yeah. guitar. And I have a request. The next time you guys do a gig, you guys, if you could, someone should set up their phone on you guys, and then you should do a Facebook Live video so we can see the whole show. <laughs> I would love to watch you guys from start to finish. Roxanne, <laughs> you don't have to turn on the red light. <laughs> you know how it is when the red light's on, you always play really weird. Actually, last night when Kathy's sister was going to make the video, I told her not to tell us which one she was going to make it for, because I would get nervous then. Yeah. That's, That's when I would make the mistake. Though for this show that as more and more places are opening up and more and more live things are happening that will hopefully get more live um, videos here on the show. That'd be awesome. That would yeah, be, awesome, be super yeah. cool. You can or we do, we do a yesterday's elephant like live. Yeah. <laughs> it would <laughs> be fantastic. I'm hoping that's sort of like where this ends up, Jack, that we end up um, having like a, a theater or a stage eventually where we can post the show live and actually interact with other live venues kind of uh, at the same time. Like imagine a movie screen in the back where a mm -hmm. band plays and then the band clears the, the stage and then on the movie screen is a band from another club in some other city or something. That's sort yeah, of cool. a, a concept or something. But uh, yeah, we would <laughs> save those concepts for the after show. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and okay. Dave, just to compliment you on your playing, uh, uh, I really liked your playing on that. It was really, it was really quite interesting. No, oh, thanks, I, man. You showed, you showed me uh, Katarina's uh, crazy chord scribblings, right? So that's pretty <laughs> challenging stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you it around One with question it, it before really you move on. Nice what kind it, of piano is that? Quite sophisticated and also uh, not overdone. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you kept, it was, re it was, it was really nice. The whole band sounded lovely. So. And Kathy, for the record, I didn't call them scribblings. No, that was that's me. <laughs> that's me. No, they were like I was kind of like like that looks that really looks like fun, right? Like they're interesting chords and kind of nuts some of them in a good way. So yeah, James, it's it a chord cross. Yeah, yeah interesting you know. would be a better word. It's chord a cross. K R O S S. K R O S S. And cork. Uh, um, cork cross but um, they, they had 
um, they don't have the oh, what's this, this? they don't have the weight um, oh, right, weighted. so they're non-weighted keys. They're not weighted keys, yeah. Right. But uh, I played on the streets the last two years, and uh, that's why I bought it, because it works with battery, and uh, oh, yeah. cool. and it's really light. It's just... That's um, awesome. It has not, a beautiful, not beautiful... Not even four, four kilogram. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's, use, it's, it's handy. You know, Absolutely. The quality of the sound for all of, all three of you was just lovely. Yeah, it, it was great. It's a really slick sounding band. Was Very that a camera mix or was that, did you guys mix? It's what? really close to the camera mix. I put it through Ableton and ran it through a compressor just to get rid of some peaks, but it's really close to the original mix off of a cell phone. Nice. So, yeah, you could hear when, when the camera was moving around how there was some interesting kind of phasing going on and stuff. So that was kind of neat, actually, because it focused in yeah. on the parts she was looking at, but... uh yeah, it was cool. Super cool. cool. All right, guys. Well, let's keep her moving let's on. Let's move on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. We have Jack. Jack. Uh-oh. Miss home, buddy. Make us cry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make you cry because your ears are going to bleed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but only for 30 seconds. No, oh, so okay, so now it's my turn to talk, huh? Um, <laughs> now it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, yeah, I, I had planned on doing something, and and I talked to Dave about like software and and uh, mixing and all that stuff, and uh, I did quite a lot of research and downloaded all kinds of apps and plugged in a multi-channel mixer and um, planned on uh, setting up amps and you know, doing the whole nine yards. And I learned how to sync sound with video. And I spent, you know, a few free moments, like when I'm going to the bathroom or something and away from family duties and all that stuff. And uh, I didn't end up using any of that. (laughs) I knew Um, you were going to say that. (laughs) I'm so predictable. Good but, on you for uh, learning that stuff, though. I, I'm I really want to as well. Well, I'm not there yet. So anyway, so <laughs> we were we hold on, Eugene. Uh, <laughs> so we were we were out uh, on uh, Saturday yesterday, and uh, we were walking in a very beautiful forest, and um, it, it just reminded me of uh, a lot of time I spent along rivers and biking and doing bike trips and that's when a lot a lot of song ideas come to me and so i figured what the hell i'm just going to do something right now and uh that's basically what i did um so uh before that i just want to give a shout out to teal and more my new favorite band um <laughs> that's that's uh graham and jolene um if you haven't heard their record yet get it. Uh, that's all I can say. It, it's such a fabulous piece of music. It's fantastic, and isn't it? It is. And I've been playing it uh, pretty much just looped nonstop. My little girl likes a couple of the songs very much on that. Um, it's just a great record. And uh, so th- that's my shout out, number one. Number two is congratulations to my niece, Mary, and her husband, Patrick, on the birth of their baby boy. Um, I just want to shout out to them. I'm very happy for them. And uh, I hope they get to experience a lot of the fun that I am. (laughs) Um, And uh, yeah, and to my family, I do have a couple of family members who uh, follow the show and uh, they're dedicated to it and um, just want to thank them and uh, tell them I'm very happy that uh, they're supporting me. So Okay, so from multi-mix digitalization, splicing and syncing sound uh, to what you're about to see. Enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) Jack, thanks so much for giving those guys a a shout out. That was really, really nice of you. Okay. Fantastic people. I will get your video going. Um... You guys all see Jack? Okay, great. I'm just gonna full screen it one second here. First drive. Back it up. Back it up. Sorry about that. Yeah. 
something about an oscillator. Sorry, dude. Hey Ruby, down by the river, I know the river is dry. As hard as you try, dear, you ain't gonna fill it with them tears that you cry. I know it fills you with pain. You'll have to wait for the rain To bring your river man home But till then you'll have to make it on your own Hey Ruby, this drought ain't over On only wishes and prayer I know it kills you, it's so damn painful, but what good is despair? You'll see the rain will start falling, and this old river will fill, and by next spring at the latest, your river man will be sailing home to you. Hey, Ruby, down by the river, I know the river is dry. As hard as you try, dear, well, you ain't gonna fill it with them tears that you cry. Why don't you come on inside? Nice work, Jack. Yeah. Dang it, Jack. You can kill it even with acapella. Man. <laughs> awesome. Hey, oh, it's fantastic, hey, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind. Eugene, did you like my subtle guitar playing on that one? <laughs> it was so subtle I could barely hear it. <laughs> got that, uh, yeah, you got that kind of old timey feel on it, which I'm sure you wanted, right? Well, I I am old timey. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jack, I was wondering. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but I I am really curious about how old you are because you seem both young and <laughs> yeah. old at the same time. <laughs> Like, you know, like you, the song choices you make and everything are from like a, seems like from another generation, but then you've got a young daughter and you seem pretty with it. So like, how old are you? Oh, <laughs> just because I dye my beard white. Yeah. <laughs> I have dark hair. Oh, um, really? Awesome. I, I, I like going for that old look. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I just... I, <laughs> I don't really want to reveal my age, I but think, uh, I, think, I think we should let the mystery be. I, I think, we well, I mean, Eugene, I, I think we're about the same age. I mean, you, you're a very young. I'm kind of a goofball, too. Yeah. Well, how, I, I just, how old are you, that, Eugene? But, but I'm, I'm a 65. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, you're, 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 not. you're 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 rocking that. <laughs> He's you not were born. 65. Oh, you Come were born on. in 65. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not 66. Years old. I'm like a 65, like a, you're like a car, right? So you were born in 65? Yeah, I'm 55. Okay, okay. yeah, I'm 54. So yeah, I, I um, figured we were about the same age, I, plus or minus a couple. But you gotta, you gotta understand something that I'm the last of, uh, of 10 children, basically. Oh, and yeah. um, so our family has been around for a long time. And uh, my my parents were very big on the country music uh, scene from from the fifties and stuff like that, and that's oh, what so I kind of grew up get, listening to. And you get the hold stuff on, I mean. hold on there, young man. 
Um, <laughs> and so uh, I, I grew up in a in a situation that um, we we lived in a, a very affluent area. Well, what became a very affluent area, but when my parents bought the house, it was just a summer cottage without running water and all that stuff. And um, we suffered a lot of hardships, um, especially in my time when I was growing up. And when you were young. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, the rest of the family had a different situation than the younger children had because of hardships that hit the family. And so I kind of feel like I grew up as a, a real hillbilly. Um, the running water worked except for in the winter when the pipes would freeze and uh, heating was was hit or miss. Uh, and um, and it, I just grew up in a, a different way than a lot of the people around me. And because the funny thing New Jersey, is, right? Yeah, New Jersey. But and, kind of outside or north or something like that? Uh, it, we were actually uh, close to to the last mountain of the Andorondacks, I guess it is, or the last That range. was kind of your backyard, eh? We were in the sticks. And, and, yeah. and um, it was just... Uh, it, it, I just have a lot of old timey influence, but that's that's who I am. And I remember once writing an email to someone uh, uh, on a forum and uh, and she the way that I wrote was just me. But the mm -hmm. woman thought, like, I must be at least 80 years old <laughs> from the things I talked about. But uh, dearest yeah. Gertrude. Yeah, yeah, but but <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. Cool. Uh, so well, thanks for the, thanks for filling us in a little bit because I've been but, curious the whole time, and I was actually curious about was under, what was under that hat as well, man. Yeah, yeah, well, that's a, as well. This well, is your, your music comes off quite authentic, uh, Jack, which I, I'm sure is nice for you to hear. It really, it really does. Well, thank you, there's Eugene. Not, there's no pretension um, to it. It, it it's all there. Like, like I'm not I'm hiding anything. Through. <laughs> Except for I haven't had my hair cut since like the beginning of March. And Me usually too. I have Me my hair cut yeah. like every two weeks <laughs> <laughs> and my beard trim. <laughs> okay, so, guys. So, so you, re so you really dye your beard? No. Was, <laughs> no okay. No, okay. No. Um, uh, it, it, it went white, I guess, sometime in my 40s. And, uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I started yeah. going gray when I was 15. Mm. I've been white pretty much since I was 40. There's a little bit of black in the back of my head and there's some in my beard, but I'm pretty much, you know, Walt Whitman looking like when I have the beard, the big beard. I go gray a tiny, tiny little bit, but my, my lovely wife goes hunting on a daily basis and gets rid of all those little nasty buggers. So yeah. I'm actually still, she always asks me, how old do you want to be today? And I say, Ooh, I want to be 32 yeah. again. <laughs> no, no, no. Hairs. Punk, punk. Gray is hairs. that why it's bald here? No, I just never got really like a full on. <laughs> I always grow a little longer that, to get it. That's where it. mine started, but now it's actually the only right. dark part. You guys Here. are getting cocky. I can't even do a beard at all. So <laughs> I can send you some of Dave's over. Yeah, yeah, I, I could grab a handful it. or two and send it your way. God, I'm gonna be like 30 years old before I even had like literally any kind of a beard. It's not fair. <laughs> Mm, I hate shaving. I'd rather I trade. I'll trade you. Do you want to get a face transplant? Dominic. 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 <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> okay. It's you. Yeah. How's it going, man? We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it is true. I was recovering from teeth problems, but now I'm back full power. Cool. Good. Good yeah. to have you back, man. Yeah. And this time I did something a bit different. Uh, I finally recovered my instruments from Czech Republic. So I could go like full electric. Um, so what I tried to do is a cover of uh, Alden Witches song, band called Alden Witches. It's called Elk Blood Heart. It's one of my favorite performing bands. And yeah, I tried to do like a full band cover. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you will find it 
uh, funny the way I did the drums. I uh, I kind of use the keyboard and do a live. Uh, yeah, I use, it, use it like a pad and kind of do it live. So hope it works out. Yeah. Oh, I can't judge, man. I play drums with my feet sometimes. So <laughs> yeah, I guess no I'm judgment here. As good with my hands as you are with your feet. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. Do you want to say hi to anyone before we before we move on? Uh, no one particular. It's all right. Yeah. Probably the hi, Gabriela. She's watching. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you want to say hi to your dentist? Yeah, I could do that. She was fucking great. Oh, she was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Sorry. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I, I was much braver than I would usually be. Good. Yeah, the, the dentists here seem to be of uh, gentle quality, I would say. Uh, yeah. uh, I could make I a good point that. about that, but it's Dominic's moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Jack. We got a bit. Of, we got some time. Two weeks ago, I went to the dentist across the street from my place. I had, uh, I had a toothache here and over here. And so he checked it out and he's like, okay, yeah, we have to change some fillings, blah, blah, blah. He put some stuff on there. The pain went away. Two weeks later, I went to the appointment, showed up at 7.30 in the morning, was also supposed to get a cleaning, went in. He said, okay, well, I'm going to do the two fillings, but, uh, there's, uh, but there's no cleaning. And I said, what the hell? And he's like, yeah, you have to make another appointment. Well, okay. Then he had a cancellation at 10. He said, oh, you can come at 10 for the cleaning. Great. So he did the two fillings, but he didn't do anything over here. He did two over here for some reason. By accident? And, uh, no, no. He said it needed to be done. So I trusted him and I didn't have a toothache over here. So he did these. And then uh, I left. And then the next morning, I had more pain than I ever had over here. And it wasn't, I think the filling fell out, actually. Um, so I'm going to be there at 730 tomorrow morning mm -hmm. to get rid of this pain. Good luck, so, man. I feel it. Gentle, you, yes, he was very gentle, but uh, good, I can't say that. Well, I hope he's not watching the show because he might take it out on you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is I have to show up and approach it really in a nice way. And then yeah. when he's done, I can let him have it. Okay, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> okay, Dominic, here comes your video, man. All right. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay.
That was awesome. Wow. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. So talented. You must Dominic. be so happy to have all your instruments and stuff back. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man, that was awesome. Your voice literally, um, I don't know his full name. It's, it's um, the Scorpions lead singer. Seriously, you remind me. I, you're like, same voice, which to me is a huge thing. Like, that is, he's a great singer. So, like, your voice is just like that. That's so cool. <laughs> I was constantly Thank thinking um, Pink Floyd. Like you, you like really yeah, right. Pink Floyd there. That, Holy yeah. crap! This song it's like sounds a quite a lot. Yeah, I just figured it's like a detuned version of uh, of Breathe of Pink mm -hmm. Floyd, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's totally. it's in D minor, but it's kind of the same thing, same progression at the beginning. Uh, yeah, but what that's what I like about this band. They kind of bring uh, the good attitude of the older things but with a more modern sound and i actually got to be on tour a uh, couple of times with this band when they were in europe i was their driver and roadie and stuff like that so what's the name of the band again dominic um they're called aldum witches they're from nashville tennessee man that's so awesome yeah that was fantastic I, I really love your videos and the way you play and sing it's 
it always amazes me really well, thank i don't you. know how you do it but it's it's great it's, uh, it sounds like you spend weeks on that one video <laughs> the way you make the video and the way you play you know, your production work is pretty have to like do, but... <laughs> all that yeah i love it it's, it's like amazing. what james, I really love james it. does too but you're totally different i'm so i'm so jealous of the fancy production Maybe one day, like we'll get Jack, there soon, Eugene. Don't worry. I'm. I can't even turn on the computer barely. All right, guys, we're down to the last one in the bowl. Can anyone guess who it is? Ushi. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Almost got her to do a video today, but not quite. Got to do one, Ushi, like an accordion thing or something. That's Francis. That's Francis. That would be me. Okay. Oh, all right, brother. So let's pin you. How's it going, man? Uh, it's going great. It's pretty hot, but you know I'm German. I always complain about the weather. It's, <laughs> right now it's too hot, and maybe next week it's going to be too cold. <laughs> hey, we uh, missed well. you last week because of the problems, but I want to say the song was so fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Um, yeah. Luckily, Timo was there. I had really some issues with my Wi-Fi, and I, I tried to get back uh, the whole show, actually till it was over but i i couldn't make it it was uh very sad i gotta say today i've got some problems too it's very glitchy but i'm still here that's the important oh. thing so if i if you lose me i'm very sorry but i think it's gonna make it now cool man yeah i gotta back. say about your video last week um that that's one of my favorite songs by you i have to say i know Thanks. it's kind of hard to it's hard to hear sometimes about your older music that that's a favorite. I, some people say that to me too. And I, uh, I always go, what about my new stuff? But it is a really good song. You know, it's, it means a lot to me. It's, um, I barely play it live because, you know, you know, the gigs kind of people like us do um, where people really don't pay attention and uh, talk all the time, like in Eugene's video today very great club atmosphere there <laughs> people talking in the background and <laughs> that's my problem too i talk all the time i can't shut up <laughs> really it's great but you, you talk while you play yourself <laughs> funny thing is i'm by myself all the time and i i like don't talk at all but when i'm around people at all i can't shut up i even <laughs> will say that i want to shut up and i keep dieseling on like i am right now <laughs> it's okay man we love you it's... like horseradish it's all good <laughs> i find it great yeah yeah horseradish in the nose both anywhere you want to put it man <laughs> sorry sorry francis I'm that's sorry not to... good let's wait for the after show then. yeah right <laughs> for, for the kind of stuff <laughs> Cool. So what are we going to hear today? Uh, well, t um, yeah, uh, the final song in harmony, I've got to say it. It's, uh, I don't play it very often. And it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing you. Uh, yeah, we're losing you a bit too, Francis. So I think we'll just get to your video if that's okay. Yeah, we're losing you. So uh, you guys, I'm going to just play Francis's video and hopefully he uh, picks up uh, in a minute here. Then we can tell him next week how much we liked it. <laughs> okay so you guys thumbs up if you see francis or now a black screen yeah, yeah. okay here we go Jesus, what have I done to disappoint you? Wasn't fun, but here I am alone uh, with a shattered set of lungs, but hallelujah. She comes pretty as the blue sky, so captivating. I 
kid cry It's not so hard to see that you and I can be the same You are crazy I'm insane Cause I got trouble Looking at myself Every morning In the mirror by the shelf And by now I start believing That it's true That love is blind But if I had you I wouldn't mind If I had you, I wouldn't mind Woman, can you hear me? I keep talking to you about living by the sea shoulder and your hand in my head would you mind would you care cause I got trouble looking at myself every morning in the mirror by the shelf by now I start believing that it's true That love is blind But if I had you I wouldn't mind If I had you I wouldn't mind Cause this world is cruel to be walking in alone Now that I've found you I keep waiting by the phone And the hoping and the dreaming And to know you'll never call It doesn't make it better I still got trouble Looking at myself Every morning In the mirror By the shelf And by now I start believing That it's true The love is blind But if I had you I wouldn't mind If I had you I wouldn't mind If I had you I wouldn't mind If it was true That love is blind If I had you Talking to you about living by the sea Your head on my shoulder And your hand in my hair Would you mind? Would you care?
Lovely, Francis. Very nice, Francis. Francis. Was that a cover or an original? Thanks. It wasn't original. Um, oh, man, that's awesome. Thanks. Um, before, before I'm gone again, uh, I think I can tell you what it's, uh, um, what's the deal with the song. It's a song, but, but I never played it to anyone, so it was a, a premiere. I wrote it last year when I was in the hospital, uh, which was pretty amazing that I was able to write songs and uh, yeah, and to uh, to I up to this noon I didn't know what to do this week, which song. My voice hasn't been in shape the last few weeks. Uh, plus, I've been drinking yesterday, um, so I had to do a song that wasn't too you know too difficult to sing so i, I thought maybe I'd, I'd do this song yeah it's, i don't know beautifully. thanks thanks yeah let's deal with that and it's called if i had you i found it to be quite a departure from your um i wouldn't say your normal stuff but from your style it was it was a different it was quite different mm -hmm. than than mm -hmm. your normal style there it's great really okay cool. yeah yeah no, i love it it's really good Thanks. Guys. The, thing, the only thing I heard that, that from a, that somewhere else is that sometimes it sounded a little bit. That your voice sounded a little bit like, uh, oh shoot, what's the guy's name? That California band that's big. Green Day. Green Day, the Green Day singer, yeah. Like, uh, but not all the time, just a little bit, which is kind of interesting. I really I'm would sure like to be able to sing like him. Yeah, that's. Well, you, I don't think you were trying it on purpose. Just some of it sounded no. like it was kind of cool. I thought you might like that. You sound I think like you sing better than him. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know about that. He's a such a, an amazing singer. He yeah, is, but so are you. Yeah. It was just a taste in the phrasing uh, a little bit there or whatever, who knows. Anyways, it's a beautiful song. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Well, Thank you, you guys, that was a that was a great show. Dave's so so ready to get out of here. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I'm just a little bit burned out this week. I, I had a really busy week, and I am uh, I am kind of like working a lot. That not Gigs. just that; it's kind of just like a lot Everything. of a lot of things at one time, and I'm basically on my last uh, like molecule of energy. So, I would really like to. I just sent you down. a funny picture of myself that it's uh, if you want to look at it, it's really funny because it's kind of kind of it kind of tech ties into the string in my face. It's close on picture though. Yeah, yeah. Th this I'm time, cool. this time it's close on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me one second, Eugene. Just, I, I want to thank you, Dave, again for all you do. I know you don't think you do a lot, but especially when you're tired and stuff like that, and to keep this running. So thanks so much. Oh, thank Amazing, you. Don't yeah. need you. Yeah. That's okay. I, I I really don't mean to be trying to pull at everyone's heartstrings. Um, normally, I'm normally good for like 48 hours of mind bending yes. energy but um just That's these last big. couple of weeks are a change for me and i'm just a bit burned out but yeah here let me get that picture because that is a pretty wicked picture yeah I, yeah just to you know bookend it with some silliness okay here we go great performances this week thank you so much everyone good thing you guys all see it <laughs> <laughs> super awesome Eugene, no. that's an album cover right there. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The way the chain's coming out of me, it's like I'm some puppet or some or <laughs> You're hanging. It's just yeah, definitely. And it's yeah. ridiculous. It looks like there's a big like a uh, like a big meat hook in your back, like they have at the yeah, picture, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I, actually, it just, you, it just you, happened to me, and I'm surprised, right? With with the thing on your head, you look like someone from the Catholic Church who's been kind of strung up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I know. guys. It's like I'm, it's like I'm wearing, like I'm have a tonsure haircut or something. Like, uh, it's, but the Crocs give away the year it was taken that picture. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Crocs give away the century the picture was taken. Oh yeah, otherwise yeah. not, right? Jesus didn't have. I Crocs. think I, I have those too. I think that these are the same. <laughs> I, my neighbor, I play. My neighbor was heard me practicing, and she said, "Well, come on over and play with for us." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> she, had a bunch of, she had a bunch of girlfriends in her backyard, and they were like doing uh, pedicures and stuff. So I played three songs for them, and, and it was really fun. And that, then, then I 
I got that picture like a month later, and I was like, "Well, that." We hey, tried Rachel, to... what happened to James? Did uh, did his internet go away or something? Um, yeah, I think I'm not sure to be honest, but it's probably something to do with his computer. It it sometimes crashes and he uh, goes out for a few minutes and he has to reboot his computer. That computer that I convinced him to buy. <laughs> <laughs> it works great when it works, but yeah, yeah. right. Okay. I like Sorry, how James. Rachel knows because she has the twin connection. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to call her a night, I think. I hope that's okay with everyone. Okay. Good, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thanks everyone for watching. Everyone on Facebook. Good night. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.